welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Lomachenko had no chance to win with American judges. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And as you all know, Devin the Wet Dream Haney got a robbery gift decision over Vasil Lomachenko. And we, we all seen what happened. Everybody's outraged. But the true problem that I have with this is the fact that all three of the judges in this fight were American. This is not the standard in boxing. This is not how it goes. This proves that the fix was in. And all three of these judges ruled in Devin Haney's favor. Now, you've seen millions of people all over the world come out and say, I thought Loma won. Uh, boxers, pros, trainers, coaches, everybody saying, I thought Lomachenko won. Now, the interesting thing is not one of these judges thought that Vasil Lomachenko did enough to win. But the entire world, the entire arena, all of the boxing pros, everybody that knows any and everything about boxing saw Vasil Lomachenko won. But not one judge? That makes zero sense. And the reason why is, you look at it, all of the judges are American. How can you have an undisputed fight, a historic fight, with all three judges being American, favoring the American fighter? That tells you everything you need to know. The fix was in. Look at it like this. When Devin Haney went to make history against George Cambosis Jr. down in Australia, he was terrified of being robbed and the fight being taken from him. So they did the right thing. The entire judging panel did not include an Australian or an American judge. They were neutral judges. They were honest. They were unbiased. And they gave the fight to the party they felt who won. They weren't all Australian judges. They weren't all American judges. It was a fair and balanced fight. So that brings you back to the question, if Devin Haney had a fight like that that was fair and balanced because he will, he was fearful that he would be robbed, why didn't they keep the same energy for Vasil Lomachenko instead of giving him, a, you know, all American judges? How come he didn't have a Ukrainian judge? How come there was no British judges? How, were, how come there was no neutral judges in this fight? Why was it all Americans? It doesn't make any sense. You see, the expectation is set in big, undisputed fights. Look at Canelo Alvarez and John Ryder. They take John Ryder down to Mexico. People were worried, oh, John Ryder's going to get robbed in Mexico. None of the judges were Mexican. Not one. So how could he get robbed? The referee wasn't even Mexican. So at the end of the day, that's how you do undisputed fights, like they did in Australia, like they did in Mexico. Undisputed fights with neutral judges, neutral referees. That way, no one gets screwed over. There's no controversy because the judges doesn't have a vested interest in who wins the fight. Let's be honest. But that's not what happened with Lomachenko and Haney. All of the judges were American. The referee was American. The odds were stacked against this man because not one judge could see this fight going in any direction aside from the American fighter they favored in Devin Haney. Let's be honest. That's a shame, and that's why people hate boxing. You see the same thing in the Usyk-AJ fight. At the end of the day, the judges were neutral. In this fight, you had a judge that was Ukrainian, you had a judge that was British, and you had a judge that was neutral. You have to be honest about it. You even had the referee not being Ukrainian or British. So it was a neutral fight. It was an even fight. All of these guys demanded fairness, and that's the way it should be. You should not make every single judge on the panel, the referee, everybody involved in the fight, American. How is that fair to Vasily Lomachenko in an undisputed the historic fight. That's how you know the fix was in. Because anybody with eyes, anybody with brain, anybody that's smart, that's intelligent, that's honest, that's objective, that's unbiased, would understand that one of these judges should have seen it going Lomachenko's way when the entire world seen it. That's why it's a robbery. Because one of the scorecards were egregious and the other two cards all aligned with Devin Haney. Everybody saw Devin Haney winning. It was not a shadow of a doubt when the entire world saw him lose. How does that make any sense? Because they're all American judges with a vested interest. This is disgusting. This is why you have Vasil Lomachenko appealing this controversial loss to Devin Haney, and he has a lot of merit because one scorecard was egregious, and all three scorecards aligned with the fighter that they favored in Devin the Wet Dream Haney. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.